Welcome to the final season of the Rebuild of Tasmanian Hobart. We're in the quarterfinal against Queensland. We've had one win out of five games. It's been a pretty rough start to the season. Just to note, guys, there's been really no signings. The board signed um, Hume. He looked like to be a handy cricketer, like slight pace, slight front, slight offside. Thought I'd give him one game, and they signed Saunders. But pretty much we retained the same team. Flint um, moved on because um, they didn't have enough money. But yeah, we'll quickly go over the uh, fixtures and results. Has been for pretty reading. 313 all out. Uh, Prescott 103, Clark 85. Uh, I thought Rickman bowled well, 6 for 63. Franks is a bit expensive, picking up 4 for 71. Posted 221 in response. Uh, Hughes and Madden, I was hoping they would do a right as a peer this season. It hasn't been the case. Uh, Wilson, Sharp, Rooney and Spence um, all getting starts and then getting themselves out with Sharp top scoring with 56. 3 for 34 for Moody, 3 for 53 for Carver and 2 for 44 for the reliable Barnes. Next up we play Western Australia. There's going to be a lot of 300 totals here. The bowling just has not been up to it. 99 to Rooney. 40s to Sedell, Keegan, and their 50 up top of the plumber was really good. Um, standout um, by a mile. Um, Doug Rickman, he's had a great season um, with the ball. 206 all out. Hughes, 82 up top. Spence, 50 down the order, but we didn't get anything out of the rest of the batsmen. And um, three fifths for Pollard and Oxton. Uh, with, uh, probably the pick of the bowl has been uh, Pollard, three for 51. Played um, in this game here. We decided the bat first and we struggled. 219 for 9. Uh, Horn was 68. Um, supported well by Wilson and Rooney. They looked like they were going to build some nice partnerships and got themselves out. 2 for 29 for Christian was outstanding. 2 for 23 Sarah is even better. And it was a pretty comfortable run chase with Higgins um, bringing up 100. And um, well supported by Parker with 86. And Rutter, the only man that got wickets in that innings. Didn't get much better against the New South Wales side. The best bowling performance of the season. Uh, they were looking really good. 200 for 2. And Rickman um, bowled well. Um, 4 for 38. 2 for 36 for Rudder. And I thought we are in the game. Uh, and then we produced a sloppy performance with only Rooney looking really good with 57. Uh, Webster, Rich Webster, 4 for 15. Uh, 2 for 20 for Abinson and Welsh, uh, 3 for 23. And the final game, um, so Victoria Post 324 for three, Mills with a magnificent 154, bad the whole way through, 18 boundaries and one six. Graham was outstanding, 77 off 75 deliveries, three fours and four sixes, and Matthew finished off the innings quite well with 33 off 23 deliveries. Delaney, um, I thought Delaney was good, 254. Thought, oh yeah, it'll be another typical game, but um, the batting actually stepped up. The partnership between Hughes and Winters was exactly what I wanted. A good platform to begin with. Partnership was over 100. Hughes, credit to him, he batted brilliantly. Um, 147 off 116 balls, 14 fours, 9 sixes. Horn, a valuable 65 off 51. Um, gave Hughes a bit of support there for a while. Six fours and a, um, one six. Rooney was good, 45 of 31, exactly what they ne we needed, 8 fours and a 6. And we got there in the end, so we've got a bit of form going on the final game. Um, I don't think we'll get past the quarterfinal, but you never know. I'm going to try something very different in today's game. It's going to be very, very odd ball. Going to open up with two spinners. We don't usually win in quarterfinals, we've got to play differently. I'm going to bring in um, Rickman's having our best bowler. Has Frank's been any good so far? No, he hasn't. So Rutter's been off color. I'm going to probably bring in... Yeah, that's probably our best lineup, isn't it? It's a hard one. I want to... Probably will bring in Frank's for Rutter. And that'll be our lineup. But we are going to open up with two spinners. I'm going to try something very different. And hopefully it pays off. Uh, the batting's been okay. Um, there's going to be one change to the batting going to be uh the call of bringing sharp in for wilson wilson just hasn't fired he's been off color for a few seasons now he's only 31 years of age too he'll hopefully perform in sheffield shield cricket but um we're gonna go with that team there i think that's their best team rooney and spence are five and six now in the one day team just offer that experience through the middle so it's it's a it's a different sort of plan here today we've been put into bat on a very good wicket at queensland 
Just need a partnership again. Hughes will attack the um, bowling. Hopefully you can get going. Brilliant delivery. Couple of plays and misses made and over. And we've got our first boundary. It's been tight so far from the Queensland side. Need over 250 anyway. If we are any chance of winning. I want to bat good on the surface. Even 300 is probably not enough. From Winters. It's been dropped, but... Again, he's given us a solid platform to work off, um, which has allowed everyone to get in. It's good. Lovely shot. Picked it up nicely, going for six. Cues. Oh, he's a bit of an edge there, but he's looking quite good. 58 without loss. Winters, man, he's been reliable over the seasons. Just an incredibly consistent batsman. It just... He's getting on a fair bit in age now. I think he's 36, but... That's a really good career for a wicketkeeper, really. Uh, just done his job. That's all I've asked of him. Even if he only has a mediocre season this season, the majority of the seasons he's been brilliant. Lovely shot from Hughes. And we're going around about six and over at the moment, which is good. Let's make sure we have wickets in hand. We are going with an unusual tactic today. Double spin option opening the bowling is very unorthodox. Going to have a field set for it, of course, as well. It probably will backfire, but we'll see what happens. Lovely cricket. Especially from winter, 65 or 49 deliveries. Gonna need a monumental score. 380 hasn't proved to be enough for us over the um, seasons. Love to get to a semi final again. Oh, plan a miss. At least um, Hughes has got away to 50. Just need someone to get on, kick on for that 100. I think Winters is getting a wee bit tired, but. He will still do. He'll still serve a purpose here if he can hang around. Fielding. Dangerous enough bowler. We know how good he has been for the Hobart Hurricanes. But Winters has really taken the bowling apart here. 145 without loss after 19. Hughes has just played a passenger role, really. 62 off 64 deliveries. Totally happy with that. Partnership was magnificent. Just got to keep it going, though. Sharp's got to get himself in. But we need to keep being aggressive here. If we are going to win, we need over 300. So it's going to keep going. Need another 50 or 60 out of one other batsman. Probably a few 20s and 30s. We'll be almost there, Sharps. Played a bit dicey so far, but three boundaries. Hopefully that's a sign he's getting himself in. 21 off 9 at the moment. Be good if Winder's got his hunter. He well deserves it. 26 of 14 at the moment. Lovely shot from Winter's again. This is good. Exactly what we want. Just attacking cricket. And he's usually a real defensive batsman too. Like he can just change gears just like that. This is good from Sharp too. As Winter's sort of fatigues. This is Hopefully he can get to his 100. Sharp still going. Cam Winters bring up his 100. The 36 year old. He'll bring it up in style. The second one day 100 of his career. Usually bats 6 or 7. Being promoted to open to fill a role. When the team is in a bit of a crisis. The man has delivered. And that's 50 to um, Sharp. Get a mammoth total here. It's good from Sharp as well. He's supporting really well, and um, Winters is just going to continue on himself. 252 for one after 32 overs. Good cricket shot from Winters. 120 off 95 deliveries, and he's still delivering some punishment to the bowling. 
a lot of experience to come. Rooney and Spence, of course, in the order. Horn, he's got a lot of cricket under his belt. 22 for one now. Going to need all that experience. This is good batting. 291 for one now. Oh, Winters is putting on a clinic. 300 up in style. Really up the right here if we can, guys. Lovely shot from Winters. 311 for one. Gonna need a really big score on the surface. 323 for one. Winters is still going. Still going strong. Sharp. Great batting from him, too. He's in the 90s. Just quietly gone for the 90s. It's been. The show of um, Winters uh, so far. Which is a memorable winnings from him. He's out for 171 off 133 deliveries. That is a magnificent knock. It's really given Tasmania a bit of hope in this innings. Need one little cameo here from someone though. Sharp. I think that's sharp 100 as well. He's just smacked it all over the place himself. 110 off 77 deliveries. Four overs remaining. Can we get at least 30? Get 390? And it's usually someone that bats good in the other team that gets them over the line. So we've got to be better um, to have the ball more disciplined. Set better appropriate fields. And really go from there. Queensland will be disappointed. I believe they put us in the bat. This is a humongous score. Best batting performance of the season, obviously. Come at the right time. Just need a cameo. This is good from Horn. Couple of boundaries. He's gone for 13 off 5, but that's a good score in the circumstances. Rooney's joint in with the 6. This is a big over. 391 for 3. Should get over 400 here. Will we have another cricket um, game in this episode? Well, we're going over 400 now. The score, 403 for 3. Just need to get a monumental score. Sharp. 135 of 88. What a knock. It's a good last over as well. Is that a no ball? Yes, it was. 26 off 10 for Rooney. Um, finished innings well, 422 for three. If that's not enough, we are a dismal side. But big hundreds for Winters and Sharp. They put on a show. The bowling figures are not for pretty reading there. Everyone got the treatment, but their plan is to bowl spin. And to bowl to a plan. And hopefully it works off. Um, so we're going to seal off the leg side and just make them hit um, to other parts of the ground. So yeah, this is this is a very much a risk in the game that we're taking. Try and squeeze them and get the run rate up pretty quickly. So 19 um, without loss after two. Monday has got the wicket of Saunders. That's a big blow for them. Saunders is one of the better batsmen, but they've still got some class. Experiment didn't work, so we are going to bring Doug um, Rickman into the um, team for a bowl. Is there a field? Gonna put some fielders out very early. 53 for one after five. Gotta change it up a bit. Franks. Just wanna to get to the point where we can get the field out and just really try and relax just a little bit. Franks has got the wicket of Valerie. It's a big blow. That monumental score to chase. Is just going to put um, a heap of pressure on that batting lineup of theirs. Hopefully they will crack. I'm um, trying to chase this score. It's going to take a special effort from one of their batsmen to do it. So 87 for two after 10. Still require 8.4 and over. 336 runs of 240 deliveries. Bring Rickman back. Better over from Rickman. I'm going to bring the spin back. The spin experiment didn't really work either with two, but um, the wicket of with Monday getting Saunders was a key breakthrough. 
Rickman gets the wicket apart. Well, we've got the run out of red for him, which is a really important breakthrough. Just slows things down a bit. Just got to keep mixing it up. Delaney just needs someone to bowl one good spell of bowling. And just, yeah, it's really try and clamp up these runs. 119 for three after 16. Run rate's 8.9 per over. Surely, surely we win this game. Just got to clamp clamp them pretty much just for as long as we can force the wickets Hitchcock will get the wicket of Fraser for 15 all right just gonna rotate it again 144 for four after 19 trying to mix up those fields we can nine off that over 153 for four after 20. Still really gettable for these guys. Parker and Stock are real danger men um, for us. It's got to keep rotating. I'm going to bowl Hughes for a couple overs just to try and break um, things up a little bit. Try and bowl a bit of different variation. His left arm bowler went for 11. Rickman. Lucky we got all those runs in the bank. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Because, yeah, the pressure's going to be forever on them. And we'll bowl Hughes for one more over. Try something a bit different. Two overs, number 21. We've got to stop that really now. Um, wait, three. Three breakthrough, guys. And we've got the breakthrough of Parker. Just when that partnership was looking dangerous, we've got Parker out for 89 or 68 deliveries. Max Bryant, veteran, but he's caused some real havoc over the years. Uh, it's a man that we have to get out. Another partnership would make the game interesting, so I've got to be vigilant. And we've got the wicket of stock too, so Queensland under more pressure. And Monday has made a key couple of breakthroughs to sort of derail the chase, hopefully. And the spin is starting to come into it now. Just when they were looking like they could mount a challenge, I think we're going to the semi-finals for the first time in a very long time in our cricket captain career. Monday will pick up a six for an all-time record against Queensland. And our drought has stopped. The curse is over. We've made the semi-finals. We will play New South Wales... Who finished in the top two, obviously. And how did we go against New South Wales last time? I think we struggled a wee bit. Just going to bring up their game again. Yeah, 269 played 116 all out. But the lineup's a bit different now. And we are going to be straight into it. Um, the two spin option didn't work in terms of the start. But I'm going to open up with Monday and Rickman. I'm going to have two spinners. I bring in Matt Rutter. Doesn't line up as Franks in any form. I'm going to bring Rutter in to the lineup just for his X Factor pace. And his average is incredibly good. I think that'll be our team. I think it delivered last game. 200th game for um, Gerald Rooney in his career. Rightio, let's see what happens. Obviously, we'll probably want to bat first on the surface. Yeah, we'll bat for us on the surface. We'll be stupid not to. Just need a solid start again. Be hard to replicate what Winters did in his last game, so I suspect he won't get too many. Never know, though. Quality cricketer. Quality cricketer to step up time and time again. Let's go from Winters. 15 or 14. That was allowing Hughes to get himself in and just play the correct um, sort of games. Out for 19, Winters, as suspected. Um, a solid enough start, 30 run partnership between the two, brings Sharp and um, Hughes together, two um, guys that will have a magnificent future if we were to continue this career mode just wrapped that we got the semi-finals we had been um, just known to um, choke in certain games oh, that's a key drop I reckon very key drop in the game 
because Hughes is a quality cricketer. He's struggling a bit at the moment, but it's really early on, and the run rate's reasonably good due to the start we had. Because Hughes just more and more time to play himself in. The more dangerous he'll get, the longer he bats. Trying to set the platform, get that huge score, and then scoreboard pressure. Sharp's really due for another score too. He's better cricketer than what he's shown. It's out run out though. Ah, just when we didn't want it. Brings Horn to the wicket now. Horn's had a couple of decent scores throughout the um campaign. Let's hope he delivers another one. All that experience in our order. Rooney and Spence both in their mid-30s now. Lovely shots. Good shots. Hundred and forty-seven for two. This is good cricket. Twenty-five overs. We're going at just over six. It's gotta maintain it though. It's really important that someone gets the big hundred. And that could be Hughes. And he needs support. Getting some regular boundaries too. We're punishing the bad ball, which is good. And Hughes brings up his second hundred of the campaign. Good knock off 108 deliveries, 15 boundaries, and two sixes. Good. We're getting great coverage. Four. Just gotta really up the rate in the last ten. It's good cricket. Got attacking cricket from Tasmania. Who's trying to set this game up for the Tazzy side? Really trying to launch early. Good 50 from Horn. The experience. Been brought in um, for out of form players. I think he was in for Madden. And yeah, delivered a couple of really good 50s. This is a good partnership, too. We're really trying to get a big score here. And this is good batting. Hallmark of the last few games that were played um, have just been big knocks from some of the batsmen. This is good from Hughes. All time um, record against these guys. So we're going at sevens. I probably want about 80 off the last um, lot of overs. Just need a good start though. So we, um, a few boundaries this over. Just punish them. Good. Good cricket. Six. Got confidence going up against these guys too. Because remember we rolled them. In that um, other game. And they were looking quite good. So hopefully the, the bowlers can deliver that again. This is magnificent batting. Horns batted exceptionally well. 85 or 63. Eight fours and four sixes. Great, great knock. 85 of 64 brings Rooney to the um, wicket. Need a cameo from him. As Hughes just tries to get that away. 321. 174. It's amazing we've had two scores of 170 in this episode. And we didn't look good in the round robin. This is good. Keep it up. No ball as well. Can we punish the no ball? Fortunately, we can't. Okay. Five overs remaining. Can we get 50 runs or something like that? 40 would be okay. 380. 185 of 159 before, by the way, for Hughes. 24 fours, six sixes. He set up the innings beautifully. Now the cameos are just required. 15 off 12 for Rooney. We wee bit um, on the slow side for a cameo, but... This is good. A couple of nice boundaries from Delaney. Great shots from Delaney. Three boundaries. It's gone for 12 or 4, but the cameo's there. It's what we want. Trying to finish it as strongly as possible. Rudder's gone. Just falling away a wee bit this innings. Need the odd boundary here. 380 was our um, goal. We've got 380. Three eighty-one for eight. Competitive. 
um, I'd say it's a good wicket. Uh, there's not much in the surface for the bowlers, but uh, decent enough cameos towards the end. And that big partnership between Hughes and Horn giving us a wee bit of hope. But I'm hoping the spin option works again just to get that early breakthrough. Going to have to be innovative with the um, field. Just need a good spell of bowling from someone, really. And that works again. Monday gets the strike at darks. Well, we get the run out, which is good. Get the wicket of Hunt. And Rickman has got the key wicket of Beckett. Can we get the wicket of Colin as well? It's good from Monday too. Good discipline bowling. That rate sneaks up. Bring Rutter into the attack. I'm going to keep bowling Monday too. He's bowling really well. Bring Hitchcock into the attack. Field is out. Run rate requires 8.5. It is pretty steep. Good spell from Monday. 10 overs, none for 42. And the rate is pretty much going to be a challenge for them to get. Need to keep getting wickets though. Colin has built his innings up quite steadily there. Just looking for a suitable field. I'm just trying to cut some options off. Delaney. Goes for nine. Bring in Hitchcock. Try and clamp up those runs. If we can. Hitchcock's been a wee bit expensive. Bring Rutter into the attack. 140 for two after 22 overs. It is anyone's game. Just need a couple wickets. And Rutter's got the strike. He's got the key wicket of Colin. 69 of 65 deliveries. Was looking really good. And he strikes again. He gets the other man. Two key blows. Come on. The guys have really um, found some form towards the back end of the season for the one day cup. 194 at 8.8. .8. Donald's looking quite ominous. Bring Delaney in. Okay, we need to try and stem this flow of runs that they've scored the last few overs 200 for 4 Rudder again he's got the wickets he's bold Webster gotta get um, Donald out now Rudder with a couple good spells there gonna rest him again gotta bring Delaney back for a couple gotta try and rely on him to get through a couple more so 210 for 5 after 31. And another wicket. Hitchcock gets the wicket of Webster. And New South Wales is starting to crumble a little bit as well. Just the monumental score that's been posted him. Rutter. Just the spells he's able to bowl. Is just put the game hugely in their favours. And who would have thought we're going to play another possible game in this episode. It's not over yet. Donald is dangerous, uh, but it's looking likely at this stage. 110 at 9.1. Rickman. Come on, we're going to get Donald. Donald, I think, will play a part in this game still. Rickman, I've got to get the field out, really. Just, just, come on, come on, guys, let's get a wicket. 8.6. This is magnificent batting from Donald. 304 for 7. Come on, we've got the wicket of Donald. Key blow. Good ball, Rickman. 115 of 68 deliveries. What an innings. 10 fours and 5 sixes. Still not over. Rutter in the attack. Bowls are pretty good over. 65 off 6 overs. Still tight. 48 um, off 4. And we've got two guys that have been incredibly expensive. I try to take the winning wickets. Take the heat off us. Good. We've got another strike. Got the wicket of Adamson. Been a couple of good games of cricket though. It's been very interesting um, how teams have performed. Yeah, we've probably got the ideal um, matchup really due to the fact we bowled good against them last time. The only thing that let us down was the bat. And that is going to do it. What a game of cricket. A lot of runs scored, but the big moments in the game were won by us, crucially. 
and Hughes, that big 185, and that 381 for eight. Sees Tasmania make the final for the first time in a very long time. Who will we be playing? We will be playing South Australia in the one-day cup final. This will be interesting. We're straight into her again. Um, probably our best team going forward. Spence has been okay. Um, hasn't had much time to bat. Delaney. I'm just worried about Delaney there. I'm going to... I'm going to make a call that he will be dropped from the team. But who to bring in? 92 works at 39.66. It's a hard one. It's a very difficult one. How's Randall been going? We're known for pulling off um, calls for the... um. Or do we not change a winning team? Okay, Hitchcock's been expensive. We're going to bring Matt Matthew in there anyway and keep the spin option opening. I think we stick with that team. I think adding Matt Matthew to the lineup just bolsters that up nicely. Even though he's out of form, he could deliver on the day. So we are going to play the final now. So it's, we've lost the toss on a pitch that's doing a bit too. So we're going to have to strike um, very early up front. Hopefully the um, spin catches them out again. 57 without loss is a decent start, really, from them. Um, trying to keep the field up as long as I can. Delaney, I was going to take this man out. He has got the first wicket. 98 for one after 20. Matt Matthew into the um, bowling crease now. Just need to be disciplined with the ball. Okay, now Monday didn't work um, here. It's going to be a challenging total to get, whatever they post. Got the key wicket of Doug Clark. Matt Matthew strikes again. So the calling him in was a good call. Rutter. Got to make a few strikes. Anything over 300 is just going to be an immense total in a final. It's got to be clearer about our field placements. I've got a lot of fields that I've made. Just want to clamp them up a wee bit. Rudder's bowled really well. Um, Delaney. Now, can he do a job? Delaney has so far with the ball. He's gone for a really expensive over, but we've got the run out, I suppose, on that over. Matthew in again. Another strike. Trying to get breakthroughs. Trying to keep the pressure on them of sorts. Good innings from Mike Marsh. Trying to strict as much as we can. 304 for 9 now. Certainly get a ball if one of the guys fire, but Hind, 125 for 140 deliveries has given them a score. Thought we bowled reasonably well. Rata was outstanding, 2 for 34. Even else was a wee bit expensive. Let's see if we can do the job with the bat. Like, Hughes and Winters are in really good, um, sublime touch, but they will need to be brilliant today. Can they deliver it again, that performance? Hughes is gone. Key strike. Man, that had posted 185 in the previous game. He must have been about key men. And then Winters is gone too, so... Need someone else to fire off the bat today. Will it be one of the veterans? Sharp's gone. It's a great start from South Australia. The partnership needs to form between Rooney and Horn. Will they stand up and get us into a position where we can challenge? It's a big score to chase. We've got to get it down bit by bit. See off Marsh, more importantly. What a great innings he put on. Damn, lost another wicket. 52 for 4. Couldn't quite get it together for the final, I don't think. Yeah, it's just collapsed completely. Rooney, can he play a knock that he played a few years back? Or can he turn back the clock and get one of those scores? 70 for 5. It is pretty grim reading. Just an extra... Bit more X Factor in the bowling attack. Uh, is sort of aided South Australia here. Right, 
come on Rooney just need that one big partnership Five for five, out for 35, and the run chase is pretty much all over bar the shouting for Tasmania. One one happy performance, we got the final in the uh, last season of the um, career, which I'm really happy about. Of course, it's not over yet, but it's going to be over pretty shortly. Just, yeah, cr collapse under pressure. It's a bat first wicket again. Fortunately, we lost the toss, and we just couldn't get wickets up front. Just batting for a bit of respect now, really. Just hope some of these guys can get some form before the Sheffield Shield. That's all I'm asking. Lovely shots. Oh, out for 12. 151 for 8. But great, great knocks from um, Winters and Hughes to practically get us here um, to this situation. Just have to commend them. Didn't expect us to get this far in. And it's provided a pretty entertaining episode. Bowling, um, of course, was a bit dicey in the three games. But probably the best performance they had was in the final um, game. But South Australia won the final by 120 runs. All out for 188. Uh, just not quite good enough on the day. Um, Hind, um, 124 was a big difference in the sides. Only man that got going, uh, really. Next top score is 40 in the whole game. So it just shows you know, how um, South Australia got up in the end. But fantastic episode. Really enjoyed putting that one together. Uh, the next game, um, guys, we traditionally play the game on the 7th of December. And that will be the case again. We'll be playing Western Australia. Smash the like button and we'll see you again for more International Cricket Captain.